Um, a little bit of code here, and you should understand all of this. Uh, you should know what a V stack is, how to add a text, an image, an H stack, um, and spacers. And that's all I have. It's just basic uh, here. But what I want to talk about is actually moving objects around. So if I wanted to move my text or if I wanted to move uh, my images. Now, we talked about spacers. You know, that shifted it up, and it can also shift down. And it also can shift left and right, depending on if it's in an H stack. Well, we also talked about padding. And it kind of does the same thing as in CSS. But we can actually do specific values. Now, we mentioned padding earlier, but I want to go into a little bit more detail. So let's just say I wanted to move my text a little bit. So if I say dot padding, you'll see that it shifted it. But it's shifting pretty much every sort of, uh, it's just shifting inside of the actual H stack. But let's say I wanted to put in specific elements. So let's just say I put in 30 here. Or I'll just say 100 just so we can actually see what's happening. You can see that it shifted 100 pixels uh, every single direction. If I put 10, it does 10 pixels. You can't really see that as much. But we can also tell it which sides we want it to trigger almost. Automatically, if we put padding, just like in CSS, it's going to do every single uh, side there. So let's just say that I wanted to shift it down and I wanted to shift it to the right. Well, in order to do that, inside of the actual parentheses, we're going to put two brackets. All right. And after the brackets, we put that. I want you to put a period. And you'll see a couple of different settings here. So bottom, set bottom, set horizontal, set leading. So that means it's going to shift it uh, from the left. Uh, set top, and then set trailing. So that means it's going to shift it from uh, the right there. So if, let's just say I put uh, top here. So I'm going to say top. And then let's say that I also want it to uh, shift from the leading edge. So if I do a comma, and then I do a period here, and I say leading, all right? And if you want to space these out, you can like that, all right? So now I have specified which sides I want to uh, want it to move from. Now, after this, after the brackets, the sides that you want to specify only go in the brackets. And then after that, you put a comma, and then you can put your value. So let's just say I put 50. You can see that it moved down and also to the right. I can do the same thing for my image here. So let's just say I wanted to do dot padding. Let's put our uh, parentheses there. And then we, inside of those parentheses, let's put brackets. And let's try something different. So let's just say uh, dot. And then I'll just say bottom, comma, dot. And then let's do the opposite. So let's do trailing. And let's give it a value. So if I say uh, 50. You can see what happened. It moved it up and also to the left there. So you can see how that actually sort of works there. So that's pretty much all the sides uh, as far as moving things. So if you want to shift it, go ahead and use padding and then specify in the uh, parentheses exactly which side you want and then the actual value that you do want.